Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com, and we are going to start in on the Husqvarna Viking H-Class 200 serger. Now, with this serger, we are going to do a short video on every single page of the manual. So you can look at a nice short video, check out what you're going to do, know how to do it, know how it's supposed to turn out. We're also going to thread up the serger with four different colors of thread. So the samples I show you, you'll know exactly how they're supposed to look out when you do it yourself. Now there's also a nice handful of accessories that are optional for this machine. And I want to show you how you can use those because that really helps take this serger to the next level. So we're going to start right now in how we are going to open this machine, what we're going to find inside. So this is a brand new machine. I'm going to just go ahead and take my scissors here and open it up. You know how much I love opening up brand new machines. And then we're going to go ahead and get it plugged in and set up to do the first four thread serge. That's probably the setting that you're going to probably use the most with this serger, but there are so many things that you can do. Even the quilt behind me was actually done on a serger. Everything except the binding is a nice little quilt as you go. That is on our website as a one hour serger quilt. Oh yes. Now I say one hour because the first time it might take you an hour, the next time it'll take you about 30 minutes. And it's a great way to use up scraps and leftover batting. So first thing that we're gonna find inside is your warranty. On the sergers, they've got a five year warranty on the machine. A dust cover is gonna be right on top. Down along the side, there is going to be a trash catcher. So as it cuts off the edge, it's gonna catch it instead of land in your lap. Foot control and power cord are gonna be all in the next little bundle here. This part, all right, covers the whole rest of the serger. Oh, there's the accessory box or accessory bag. So we can, uh, we'll walk through here what comes with it, tools that you're going to use. Like I always reach for the, the tweezers first. It's like my second hand when having the serger, threading it, that type of thing. All right, so when this little guy comes out, you're going to notice that there will be thread on the serger. This thread is just something to get you started. It's not gonna last very long, believe me, I've tried and these spools go poof and they're gone. But there is thread in here, so if you want, you're gonna go ahead and clip these entire colors on that you wanna use. I'm also gonna show you in the videos how you can buy minimal amount of colors so you don't need four pinks and four blues and four greens. You can mix and match and have some nice basic colors like four whites, four darks, or four blacks, and then kind of move things around. I'll show you which thread actually shows when you open up that seam. So with this, once we take everything out of the little plastic, there is a handle back here. It's kind of built into the back of the machine, so you can lift it nicely. Also on the bottom of the machine, there are suction cups. So as it goes onto a table and you start to surge, this serger isn't going to move with the vibration of the table. So do make sure that you do put it on a solid surface. I would not recommend like a card table or something bouncy because you get this humming fast and that's going to start to, um, well, things are going to move and bounce. But on a regular surface, those little uh, feet will keep it connected to your surface. So when we're ready, we're going to just go ahead and slide this up. Threads are already in here. We're going to plug it in. I'm going to show you everything that you can do with this serger.